Hi. So, we are I'm on my final testing today. Uh, not many people know, but we are going into uh, installations of solar PV systems. So today, another busy day, uh, just doing my final testing and inspection um, over here at Trade Skills for You. So hopefully, if I get this passed, it's my final final part of the exams, and uh, we'll all be ready, set to go. And then we just got to wait for our MCS assessment. So excited times, and wish me luck. Yes, well, I've passed. I've done it. Everything is done now. 18th edition, part P, test and inspection, 2392, and solar PV course complete. We are rearing and ready to go. So it won't be long until we start to uh, get some installations done for solar PV panels, which we will be touching on and obviously documenting for everyone to see, you know, the kind of procedures that we have to go through and, you know, what we need to do in order to, to get these installations done. Um, you know, so it's a massive part, uh, will be a big part of the business when it comes to um, obviously people trying to be more self-sufficient, you know, um, looking for ways in which not to have to rely completely on the grid with the escalating energy prices as well so you know i'd say probably 90 95 percent of our inquiries for heat pumps at the moment being that we're installing renewable technology are asking about solar pv panels now you know that's something that we are working toward in offering our uh, clients so um you know we've we've got things in line and we're putting things in place to implement that for our business so exciting times now i need to go over to see one of our other installations see how the guys are getting on i know that we've got a bit of a challenge when it comes to getting the electrical work done and sent uh for the supplies for the heat pump for example so i'm just going to go and assess the situation see what we need to do in order to press forward and um you know hopefully we can get this installation completely complete by the end of next week with relation to the electrical work so let's see what happens So, so I'm on site, we've got a difficult developing situation where we've got to try and get a supply out to our heat pump. There's no spare ways. All of the electrics are covered over, so it's very difficult to get supply towels off. We've got uh, a socket or a CB in one, of the, um, in one of the distribution boards, which we don't know where it goes to, what it does, but it could be possibly a spare way, but it's wired in, but no one knows what it does. We've checked all the sockets, etc. Just cracking on here, getting the... Uh, heat pump wired in lagged it's all plumbed up all power flushed and uh yeah we're just trying to figure out a way now to get the power to this heat pump so we can get some heating on for the floor is coming in next week always a challenge never easy but the situation we have is basically we've got our heat pump over there and we've got a designated supply that has to go there it's a bit of 32 amp fuse spur uh rotary isolate switch sorry but the trouble is and what we have here is that we've got our supplies coming out so the service head and then we've got penny blocks here but on the other side of this wall we've got the isolator that goes between this service head and the consumer unit and the problem is it's all nicely boxed in in there with very limited space um the consumer unit internally is full to the brim. There's a couple of points on there that we can't even find where it would go to. So, um, you know, there's a couple of 16 amp um, CBs on there. We just, you know, we, you switch it off. It doesn't really affect anything, but we can't really tell if it's gonna, you know, be important or not. So I think the problem, the situation we're gonna end up doing, and we're gonna have to speak to the customer about this, is to go to the other side of this wall, past the, 
isolator, switch that off, make a bigger opening and that access in there, put the Henny blocks on that side, bring some armor cable through here, send it across, and then before that door, go in underneath the utility cupboards, put a subboard in, attach our um, 32 amp supply to the heat pump, which is gonna to go to the rotary isolator. Hey presto, we've got power to the heat pump. All we just need to do now is see and make sure that the customer is going to be happy with that solution. So let's see what he says. So this is the heat pump that we're installing. Josh just getting the connections on. You right, yes, Josh? Yes, all good, all good. Didn't want a cup of tea. The, the customer kindly asked us if we would like one and he, he said he's had too many today. So that tells me what he's been up to today. But this is um, the Valent Aerofan Plus. It's a 12 kilowatt unit. As you can see, this has all been newly paved and um, sits in there just nicely. Uh, just out here, we've just had new extensions. We've put underfloor heating in here. We've got new radiators and everything else throughout the house as well. Um, so just getting these final connections on. Josh is hard at it though, he's so strong. <laughs> and um, yeah, once we get this electrical supply on, we can get it fired up and get some heat in the under underfloor heating downstairs ready for the flora. Well, we found another solution. I think we can use a circuit breaker that no one can find where the other end goes to. So we're gonna use that for the time being. And if it, fight, if, if it turns out that the guys uh, actually needed that circuit breaker for um, something else in the house that we just haven't been able to find at this moment in time, then we'll have to uh, rearrange it. But we really do need to get the heat pump on um, just so that we can start getting some um, heat going through the underfloor heating for the flooring guy who's coming in next week. And he's pretty you know, adamant that we've got to get some sort of heat in case it ends up messing up the floor, the finished floor level in there. But anyway, these challenges happen. We've got things that we must uh, overcome and this is the day-to-day -day stuff that we end up dealing with um, on these projects particularly when it comes to renovation work you know when it comes to retrofit heat pumps because you just never know what you're going to come up against this has been an ongoing project for the last few months as well so we've only been able to slowly get in and get certain things done at certain points um, as the build has been going on there's not an awful lot of room that you know you can kind of work in with the amount of work that was going on internally so but anyway it's all good we're all good to go um, and uh, yeah, we'll see how things roll out tomorrow. Anyway, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe to the channel. P press the bell notification button if you uh, want to see any up and coming videos as they come available. But um, anyway, thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.